Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I do want to give you guys a very quick update. Want to let you guys know that from here on out, I will be uploading every Tuesday and Friday uh, spell work and tarot readings, obviously. Uh, so you guys don't have to guess. <laughs> Or you don't have to wait for that notification. Just know without a doubt that every Tuesday and Friday we will be uploading new uh, videos. So anyways, if you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Aquarius, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, for the month of June 2018, your general energy is the Five of Cups. Okay, so the Five of Cups could symbolize uh, mourning the loss of a loved one or missing them if they have been um, passed on or gone to the astral world. Uh, this could be, you know, as long as 10 years ago, or as recent, uh, as recent as six months ago. Nonetheless, the Five of Cups definitely talks about the mourning, the loss, the hurt, uh, not really focusing on the opportunities that are coming your way, because you're definitely going through, um, I want to say an emotional roller coaster at the moment. Let me pull out more cards and see what's going on with you. So your first card here, Aquarius, is the Five of Wands. Okay, so the Five of Wands definitely talks about an inner struggle going on with you. Um, this could signify, for a lot of you guys, this could signify an inner struggle in regards to the lifestyle is what I'm hearing. The lifestyle that you currently have and the lifestyle that you would want. So... So this could signify an example if you have a reputation, something that is attached to your reputation or, um, okay, so it's going to be very different, but this is just, you know, the general energy that I'm sensing. Almost as if, almost as if like your profession is, of a higher ranking type of position, then you have this reputation of a professional of being great at what you do and just being very collected, very, etc. And there's an inner struggle in regards to things that you do in the hidden or behind the scenes that perhaps would be judged if they knew that that's what you do, or perhaps that they would see you in a very different light. Um, if they seen that you actually um, like to drink, uh, like to go out, like to be very social, uh, et cetera, if your persona is this of a very professional, um, very responsible type of person. So again, there's an inner struggle with, you know, the lifestyle that you have or that you feel you have to put on versus the real desires and wants that go within you. So I feel that for the month of June, this could play out in the sense of, again, having to deal with, having to deal with, um, the persona that you put out to the universe and what people see and who you really are. And also the fear of not being able to be who you really are out of judgment. The fear of judgment uh, is basically what I'm hearing. Now you do have here the full card. So the full card is a major arcana. There's definitely a new beginning for you, uh, Aquarius. Now I am getting different messages for you guys with the five of cups. For some of you guys, it could signify that there was a misunderstanding or a fight, an argument in a relationship where there's a new beginning. So it could, uh, it could mean that either you guys are trying to work through it or for others, there was an ending, a complete ending in the relationship out of a major fight and you're kind of left feeling like a fool or like you put so much effort into this relationship and everyone else is looking at you like you're, you're a fool. Um, 
because I, I feel that there's this feeling of embarrassment and something connected to your reputation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be professionalized. It could represent, again, like I said, uh, in the emotional sector that you pretty much did for the person that you were with things that you would never do. And your friends knew that you weren't that type of person and things didn't go well. And now you're left feeling like you basically, uh, gambled it and turned out, came out losing. Um, and there's this feeling of embarrassment or something connected to like feeling, Oh, I should have known better. That type of energy. Nonetheless, the fool definitely signifies a new beginning for you, Aquarians. Now you do have here the Knight. Is it? Yeah, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups again next to the Fool. For others of you guys, it could signify that you recently got out of a relationship and you're actually emotionally interested or wanting to get to know someone on a deeper level. Now, the full signifies new beginnings, but also it can talk about um, like your feelings switched or your feelings. This could even represent like people that you, people that are around you that perhaps you start to see in a different light or you come to the realization that you're actually interested in them and like you didn't know the whole time that you had feelings for them. That type of energy, um, because the Knight of Cups is definitely talking about uh, like aha moment of, Oh, maybe I am interested in this person, that type of energy. Now the Knight of cups could represent a water sign would be a Scorpio Pisces or cancer person that you're dealing with, or that you may be dealing with for the month of June. Now your next card here is the queen of cups. The queen of cups is definitely, um, you're definitely looking towards a, I feel this is new energy for you guys. Okay. So it's going to resonate very differently for everyone. For others of you guys, it could be that you had a major fight and you guys are giving each other the opportunity with the full card here, um, trying to rebuild this relationship or salvage this relationship with the, the Knight of Cups, uh, love still being offered. And with the Queen of Cups, this is definitely an energy of a loving, compassionate type of energy. Um, doesn't have to be female, could be male as well, if you are actually being with a water sign. Um Nonetheless, I feel that for others of you guys, it could signify that there was an ending to a relationship. And now you're coming to the realization of that perhaps you may have feelings or deeper feelings for someone that perhaps was in your inner circle. It could be a friend. It could be a person that you've known for years. Um, it could be a friend of a friend that introduces you to this person and they kind of were always in the back scene. Um, but you actually gravitate towards them because there is this loving very psychic type of energy surrounding them because the queen of cups is definitely a very intuitive person, but this is also the mother figure of the Queens. So it definitely signifies a person that is very compassionate, very soulful, very loving and giving. Um, and again, I feel that there is this understanding or this deeper feeling of knowing that perhaps, you know, you had feelings for this person the whole time and you weren't really aware of it. Um, for others of you guys that are currently dealing with having difficulties in regards to finances, there's definitely an ending to that and a new beginning, new opportunities coming your way. For some of you guys, that travel may be involved as we do have the Fool here and the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is definitely on a horse um, and a new beginning. So again, for some of you guys, travel may be on the horizon very soon. I could play out by the end of June or going into July where you guys are thinking of taking a trip or actually traveling biz for business um, uh, for business travel or whatnot. But for others of you guys, it could just be that you need some time to get away and you're wanting to actually take on a new um, adventure. So the very uh, prominent messages for you guys. Um, I hope that this resonates with you guys. Like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.